Okay, I don't have my tripod, so I'm actually going to run through this real quick here, and hopefully you'll be able to see everything. These are the plates when they're laser cut. Um, every once in a while you might see a little splatter or something on it and stuff, but it's recommended that what you do and stuff is you break the mill finish. I have a 3M sanding block, and all I'm going to do is run over the surface, just to break the surface. Now, the other thing you'll notice is that these plates have just a minor little, if you can feel it, on the edge. It's actually the bottom side of the cut where the laser, when it cuts and stuff, it leaves this minor, minor little burr. All the parts will have a little bit of that on it. No big deal and stuff. You just knock it loose and stuff. You want to break the mill finish anyways because there's contaminants in the mill finish. All right, once you've done that, uh, another thing is stuff because when I went to Home Depot and Lowe's and all that, they didn't have nylon all thread. So what I did is I bought two inch long uh, nylon bolts, which didn't have enough thread, so I took a die and I threaded them down farther. And for the purpose of just being able to show you this video. Now here I'll take a bolt and I'll put a strap there. After a strap, I'm going to put a plate. So it's just like that. So you have metal to metal contact where the strap is. Now the other thing is I'm going to kind of skip to the end and I'm, I've already pre-bent this bracket because I've had this together once and I need, because I don't have all thread, I can't take the nut off the other side, I have to have this in place to be able to finish this video out for you. So anyways I put that there. And there's basically what we have sitting on the table and I start with washers. Now I have two different kinds of washers. One is, this is an actual 5 sixteenths, it's approximately 60 thousandths thick. Well, they didn't have enough of those, so I went and I got 3 eighths washers that are only about 30 thousandths thick. So, if I take the 5 sixteenths and put it there, and put two of the 3 eighths washers here, this will help maintain the cell to be level throughout the cell. Or I should say parallel. Anyways, we'll drop a plate on here. And again, all this time I'll just use three eighth ones. Drop another plate. These holes are pretty close and tolerant, so what I'm trying to do here is just slip the plate down. And again, uh, this one I might happen to pick up a 5 sixteenths and we'll put two, three eighths. I got a dog hair there. And another plate. And again, more washers. If you notice, this one null thread looks kind of stringy. I don't know if you can actually see it in the video. It happens to be for me running the die back over it. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. This will be the sixth plate. And for the last plate, before we have to do anything special. I'm trying to maintain approximately 60 thousandths in between each plate. There's that. Now, at that point in time, what you want to do is take your stainless nuts and run them down onto the all thread. Well, in my case, I happen to have nylon bolts. And 
I need to pause the video because I forgot one of my wrenches.